Hello! Today I'm likely going to fry my hair. Little backstory about my hair, if you care, I don't know. Um, I have been dyeing it red for almost five years now and um, normally I just dye the roots and let the end fade out so I have like this quasi like ombre thing going. Um, obviously <laughs> the ends are very processed and dry and probably gonna chop off some of that even before I start because I know that it's probably not gonna make it through a round of bleach. Here is, is why I'm dyeing my hair. <laughs> um, I saw this, uh, this color in the drugstore and I was like, oh wow, that is really pretty and I want to do that. However, <laughs> um, going from this to this will uh, take some doing, especially if I'm using box dye. I wouldn't recommend this like really to anyone unless you don't mind just chopping off a good several inches of your hair because it's too processed. But um, if you do want to do that, I would suggest going into a salon, but we're here to enjoy some nice wholesome content of me frying the crap out of my hair. So um, here's the game plan. Um, I obviously need to lift a lot of this red out or bleach it before getting to this color. So um, we're, 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 we got this and I uh, didn't read the box before I brought it home, but it says it lifts up to seven levels which sounds extreme um but again i'm not like that opposed to just chopping off a bunch of hair if it just doesn't look good the other thing that i'm possibly anticipating um going bleaching this is likely gonna end up yellow to maybe orange um i know that this box has like a toning conditioner and so does this box so like if it's light enough yellow i might just dye it the blue anyway and like see if the process of toning will like get it under control but um it could be orange and in in the event that it is orange i'm also prepared um to dye it a intense green so um that should be fun if if that's what happens um but yeah really i just wanted to mess with my hair so this this is what we're doing Yay! Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut off a couple inches of this. So we're just gonna do this. And yeah, there's that. So I don't have to deal with that being fried. The next thing is Vaseline. So it doesn't, none of the hair dye or bleach like really gets into the areas of my skin that I don't want it in. So I have these lovely uh, household gloves um, thanks to my mother-in-law. They're Christmas themed and they are going to help me keep some of my outfit from not getting totally bleached, but you know. So this is like the exact reverse of what I usually do to my hair. Um, it's wanting me to lengthen basically the colored crap first and then the rest. So it's gonna take some time. Okay. So just in case anybody's curious, this is Nutrice Ultra Color Advanced Lightning Cream. God, that sounds intense. Um, and it is Lightest Platinum PL1. So, why is this in three parts? I have I have a developer, a bleaching powder, and a lightening cream. This is like the toning conditioner, so at least there's that. Maybe the lightening cream is actually some kind of toner. I don't know. Ooh, that hissed when I opened it. By the way, PSA, I am not a beauty professional at all. I just like to mess with things at home. It's not just bleaching powder, it's ultra bleaching powder. Oh, there's a flat cap? Oh my gosh. What is this? 
shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your bleach. Okay, now this crap. Look who's learning to, to think about the camera. I recommend doing the ends first, then waiting about 30 minutes, and then doing 20 to 30 minutes, and then doing the roots, and then waiting like another 20 minutes. Um, I'm a little torn because like I know this red part is probably going to be the hardest part to get rid of and so yeah it probably does need it for a longer span of time. I also know that it'll fry a lot faster so I'll let you know what I do about that. I'm only going to focus on like the ends like how I'm doing this step now. Um, on the top of my head because the rest I'm honestly just going to shave down to like a three on a on a um, clippers anyway so this red stuff here we're probably not going to see later anyway. Sections I guess. Oh I did get out aluminum foil look at me. Okay yep I'm going to bleach my entire outfit. Cool. And if it turns out, great. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna clip it all down to a six. Maybe. Okay. Next victims. It's uh, been 30 minutes, so we're gonna start taking our spacey leanness off and uh, try bleaching the roots. Um, well, that's that's definitely gonna need some more time, I think. Shit. Paler for sure. Ooh, it's so orange. Shh, Kelsey, you knew this was gonna happen. Stop bitching. Try doing a thing, maybe? does feel like I'm kind of getting to the end of the bottle. So uh, if you have long hair and you're trying to use this product, I would suggest getting two bottles. <laughs> from the aliens trying to read our minds. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, that was obvious. Um, I'm going to let this sit for about 20 more minutes and then we're going to try washing it out. It's uh, processed probably as much as I can process it without just frying it completely. So um, we're going to take off my tinfoil cap here and see how we're doing and it looks orange yep oh yeah oh yeah that is 
white orange. Oh, yep, I think we're dyeing it green. That's okay though. I knew that that was a possibility and I was prepared. Um, man, that's still really red though. Dang. Red hair dye, man. Okay, um, so I'm gonna wash this out and we're gonna look at it and then uh, decide how we're dyeing it next. Whoop. <laughs> okay, so this is still red, um, but honestly, it's kind of a look though. Like, I mean, yeah, the ends are very processed and I'm gonna have to trim those off regardless and it's not completely intentional, but like, <laughs> As far as like bleaching from red, I, I feel like this could have been a lot worse and like this could be a legit look. Some other things that I did while off camera let me that. Um, is I used the, box, the <clears throat> bleach dye boxes ultra anti-brass conditioner and instead of using that for five minutes, I let it sit for 10. Um, I feel like my roots are still like pretty yellow, but like maybe, you know, maybe from the box, it's like a reasonable expectation. Um, if I wanted to go into the blue, like I think the roots would have done okay. Um, however, all this orange stuff, um, I think with this would either turn like green or like brown um so <laughs> i am going to uh elect to not do this this time maybe after i grow out some more hair and chop off a lot of this like i could maybe try this but um i don't think this is a reasonable expectation for me to do from home um and yeah it was pretty ambitious but that's okay. That's what backup plans are for, and even just for just bleaching it, I don't think this is terrible. Um, I'm actually like, okay, you know, this could have been worse. Um, as far as like, you know, how I like squirted it in there at the roots instead of brushing it in like you probably should have. Um, there are some parts where it's definitely like not as consistent as it could be. I mean, other than the red hair dye, but like, and I think I wiped out a lot of it towards my neckline when I was trying to clean up my neckline, so that's still pretty dark, but eh, it's not, I'm not like, I'm not that disappointed. Like, I'm actually impressed that it didn't turn out as terribly, so there's that, um, but you know, you always have to like curb the expectations a little when you DIY stuff like this, but that's okay. Um, it's fun. All right, um, <clears throat> so I am going to elect to use this guy, which is not a permanent, um, I think it's like a semi-permanent um, by Splat. And it's supposed, to, it can be used without bleach, um, which is kind of why I chose it, because I knew that if I was going into this, that uh, I would probably have something that I would be hoping to cover up. I don't think um, I'm gonna get like a completely consistent result with this guy, um, especially like given the amount of different shades I've got going on here, but I do think it'll be at least uniform enough to look intentional. So we're gonna do it, yay, okay. It says it's a one-time application, but it is an all-in-one kind of thing. So I have actually, with this style before, I think it was like purple though, um, just kind of saved it and used it like 30 days later because it's supposed to kind of wash out in 30 days. I do think it will still be there color-wise because, yeah, but uh, especially in the parts that are like yellow. Oh, it actually wants you to like use shampoo to rinse this out. Huh. This, this is a deep constructor, not 
my sealing conditioner. Uh, well, um, we're just gonna go for it then. I'm gonna assume this is like the conditioner. Um, it's nowhere listed in the directions, so gonna do another round of this guy again. This being like petroleum jelly. This is back. Okay. Don't do that. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your hair dye. Um, one of the other things that maybe prevented my hair from bleaching more was that it's possible I didn't um, shake the bleach um, and mix it enough. So that could be another problem going on here. Um, but yeah. The roots really aren't that bad though. I think it did really well on, on fresh, undyed, unprocessed hair. This, uh, I was going for drama, so... I think I have it. It's... It smells like... Um... So you, uh, you know those like ice drinks, like the sparkling flavored water that you can get from like your grocery store? It smells like that. The, by the way, the bleach um, actually did not have a lot of scent to it. So that was cool. Um, I wasn't like choking. And also it didn't burn my scalp or anything either. Um, so just for your, your, your knowledge. So um, part of the video got cut off because I ran out of space on my phone, but what you may have missed is uh, me getting this very green. Yeah. Oh, and also I have used splat dyes before and I forgot just how intensely they dye the skin. Um, I remember now like when I used to dye my hair purple that I would deliberately go like um, a little beyond the hairline to start with the dye, and so now I'm going to have this lovely green contouring going on probably for the next, like, week or so, but, um, yeah, I did forget about that, and so I'm going to be a little green, and, um, this is how green it is after, uh, peroxide, after cold cream, after baking soda. <laughs> um, I'm gonna also try a little bit of a sugar scrub in the shower, see how much of it I can get off, but um, I might just be a little green for a while, but you know, it's okay. Um, also, uh, it got all over the sink and the sink was gross and dyed colors. Um, oh, sorry. Um, but I put baking soda down on there and it mostly got it up and honestly, if I just hit it with another round of baking soda, it'll be fine. So. If you use that dye and color your whole bathroom, just just let it sit with some water and baking soda. Most of it will come off. You'll probably be fine. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go rinse this out and uh, probably let it dry, and then I will see you for the next bit. Okay, bye. And we're back. <laughs> so uh, as you can tell, my hair is very, very processed. Um, Though I will say some of the fluffiness is because I kept playing with it while I was drying and this is about what it normally does, but it's it's considerably uh, more fried than it was. <laughs> um, I really, I feel like it's a cross between like uh, my Doria from My Hero Academia and Edward Scissorhands right now. Um, which I mean... <laughs> But uh, I do, I'm not done with it yet. I still have um, some clipping and styling to do, so I'm going to start on that now. 
Um, I typically uh, trim and shave and do everything on my own. So this is a process that I've done several times. It might be a little more difficult, especially like on the edges I'm thinking because the skin's dyed around there and it's gonna be harder for me to see. But for the most part, this is a thing I've done before. Um, so here we go. So usually I start first by like sectioning off the top bit that I like to keep long. And I do intend to cut off quite a bit of this, but I'd like to section it off first. So when I <clears throat> buzz the rest of it, um, it, it's easier to like separate, keep, keep separated because I think I am going to be trimming quite a bit off the ends here and it might be end up being about as long as this grown hair here. So I want to just make sure to keep those separated. And the other thing is keeping them even. And that can be a little tricky. I know, I know, you're very angry here. <laughs> so fluffy right now. Um, I am like, I know the texture is like kind of messed up right now, but um, it's obviously not healthy for my hair, <laughs> but I, I am actually very um, satisfied with the multifacetedness of this hair color. I think some of it is because like the color I was starting before I dyed it green was like a lot of different colors, but I think it looks actually quite nice um, with kind of like the different tones. They're like uniform enough that, you know, it, it looks like it is all the same intentional color but like it's different enough that it, it, it it's a little more interesting than just a solid color I feel like another reason why I you know uh, bleached it and then immediately dyed it is because I cut this down to like a three or three quarters of an inch and that's not a lot of hair so it does grow out pretty fast so like <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to get a uniform color going there if I'm doing it in like different steps um, because like after a week you can actually start to see things and I you know just as soon rather um, do it all at once so here we go. I'm also gonna try to like kind of regrow back my like manilis or these like little sideburn things. Um, I had them going for a while and then I just chopped them off because I was tired of dealing with them, but now I'm trying to grow them out again. So we'll see if I manage that. This is why I have multiple mirrors in this bathroom, just so I can like do shit like this. What you do today? Fried the shit out of my hair for fun? Look, that's a lot healthier back there. <laughs> so uh, now I'm at the point where like most of it's pretty shaved down. It's not super uniform yet, but I'll get back to it. I like doing, I'm, I'm gonna do designs around my Minnelli's and just like a quick line up here and probably do a more clear cut line around um, the, the top half of this. It's not really a fade, it's like an undercut thing, I guess. Um, so yeah, need those tools. So this part is kind of difficult for me to get even. Um, so it's kind of just eyeballing. I'm going to need another battery. I'm going to go try not to get green hair all over the house. I'll be back. And we're back. I'm going to partition out for the Manelis. Can I find an angle where I can see it? 
teams do? Yes. Okay. Oh, damn. Well, uh, <laughs> all right, that's going for more dramatic now because I definitely did not get that even. Did he dye his hair at home or is he just an alien? I got lots of spot things going on there, so that's Interesting. Now I'm going to go back to my three and trim and then get a little more detailed with <clears throat> that small shaver thing. And we're back. So um, it's actually been overnight. Um, I did rinse my hair last night, but then I did not feel like putting on eyebrows just to take them off again. <laughs> um, so now I'm back with makeup and uh, I kind of just meant to do eyebrows <laughs> and then uh, my hand slipped and I, suddenly I was just doing uh, contour as well. But um, anyway, uh, so I'm actually like fairly pleased with my hair. I know it doesn't like look super professional, but like honestly for doing it all on my own, like I think I did okay. Um, also, <laughs> the texture is quite definitely different now. Um, it's, yeah, I fried it. I fried it pretty bad. So I'm gonna have to kind of like relearn how to use hair gel right now. So like, mm, I'm not too like disappointed with this. I was debating also on just like straightening it by doing this, but I kind of wanted to let you know what texture it is. It's, it's a little crunchy, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I, yeah, it'll be a while before I bleach it or do anything to it again because uh, this is excessive, but it's fun. I wanted something different and dramatic and um, I think I definitely achieved that. So yeah. Um, just a few notes on this stuff um just try to keep it from pretty much touching anything it is really good at staining things like um this is my fingers after like three showers and scrubs and stuff like and i mean it's still in my hairline and i know a lot of people when they're using products like these they don't get so close to the roots but when you're shaving your hair down to a three it's like okay but you you gotta dye it otherwise it's not gonna be worth it um also like my shower is teal like as i was washing my hair i um let it let the water stream down my body like you nor normally take a shower and like i most definitely like have parts of my body that's dyed teal right now um, so like, just try to keep it away from everything and like, I don't know, maybe just wash your hair in the sink. It's uh, it's easier to um, scrub your sink with baking soda than your shower. Um, but other than that, like, this could have gone horribly and I think it went okay. Um, so yeah, that's my hair video. Alright, uh, well, that's, that's it, I guess. Okay, thanks, bye.